Hi there, everybody. Martin Tyler here, along with Alan Smith. And our match today comes from the Premier League. Today's game, Manchester United against Crystal Palace. Manchester United striving to impress us a bit more today than they did in their last game when they lost away against Burnley. Yeah, the 2-0 defeat, a bit worrying. It was a bit worrying with the way that they defended. They'll be disappointed with it. Uh, determined to improve today, and uh, I think this is a winnable match for them. Well, we're here today to watch the champions with the title already sealed. Nice and relaxed. Oh, yeah. It's the perfect scenario for these boys. They've already been out celebrating, so it might not be the best performance here. This is then the Manchester United lineup. David De Gea starts in goal. Marquinhos starts with Eric Bailly at the back. In attack, Mauro Icardi starts. He's been in tremendous form recently. Here's the Crystal Palace team. Steve Mandanda starts in goal. Martin Kelly starts with Pap Suare as the fullbacks. Loic Remy is the main striker today. It was Bobby Charlton, I think, who nicknamed this ground the Theatre of Dreams, and he certainly made a lot of his dreams and Manchester United fans' dreams come true as a player, and of course has been associated with the club ever since. Yeah, and many, many entertaining, flair-filled teams have graced the surface here. And, of course, the stadium's changed beyond recognition over the years. Martin Atkinson is the referee. A lot of talk about this match. Great build-up. Let's hope we get a great game. It's now just starting. James MacArthur. Well, they're in a good position here. Johan Kabay. And in he goes with the tackle. Bale! That's a good save. He got a touch to that. That'll be a throw. Good position, they've worked this attack very well into a quite a dangerous position now. Shot up! What a fine save! That shot's blocked very quickly. What was impressive about Neymar coming as a young man to Barcelona from his native Brazil and settling in straight away? Yeah, he's, he's one of those lads that just loves to play football and... Uh, He's been blessed to play alongside some fantastic talents. That always helps, but as an individual, he's some player. Tackle here. Decision is a throw. It was a fair tackle. No wasting of time in that situation. So for the home team, the chance for a league double here. But they had to work hard for the away win. And I'm sure the opposition will be doubly determined to stop it being a double over there. Yeah, funnily enough, it might... the break is definitely on. Bale! Terrific stop. He's had a go here. He accepted the responsibility, but I think the way the ball moved meant that he couldn't accept the chance. No, just bounced up on him. It looks a bad miss, but I think he was unlucky there. Cross. It's good movement. They're getting forward here, Manchester United. Well, he's got support here. He's looking for the cross. Turnover there that we didn't expect. The uh, attack has fizzled out here. Goal kick.
Bale. Makes a challenge here. Well, the flag's up. And he's frustrated because he is caught offside. Maybe he made his run a bit too soon. He can afford to give those defenders a yard or two, you know, because he's quicker than them. Good forward play from them. Doing well to keep the ball. Made the challenge well. And that's a turnover to the opposition. Tony Cross. He's got his shot off now. Oh, great work by the keeper. James MacArthur. Andros Townsend. It'll be a throw. Here's Isco. On to the attack now. And shoots! There's a goal that's been on the cards. The better team at this stage of the match. And you wonder whether they would make that domination count. Well, they've done with this goal. Thoroughly deserved. They lead. side that has the form and indeed you would think the better players are doing well at the moment they've got a goal and they're beginning to boss proceedings yeah they're moving the ball about better martin certainly getting good delivery in from those wide areas a much stronger side so the first goal it's one nil place to visit this but the away team today come here in good heart Alan they've won their last two games yeah they should be in good heart and, and as you say it won't be easy but uh, they're in impressive form moving forward with some danger to the opposition now they're here defender to it first and no shots at all so far for Crystal Palace well a shot would be nice wouldn't it Martin even if he's blasted over the bar it's Isco Oh, he's through. Hopper! Oh, well, and now the shot! And tackling is a real skill. Great place to win it back. Played into the middle. They cope with it well defensively. Well, it's OK for Manchester United at the moment. They've got the lead as this first half draws to a close. But there's a lot of work still to do. Shot on! Beat the goalkeeper, hit the top of the bar. James MacArthur. Townsend. to switch on the attacking power in this situation. Well, he's had a good look and decided what he's seen from this uh, period of play to add on three minutes. He might be through. Icardi! What a fine save. United's corner. That's half time at 1 0. Well, Gareth Bale has gone through the first half here. Alan, what did you make of his performance? Oh, he was, uh, he was all over the place, superb, and hitting the woodwork, very nearly adding a second there. Been looking good for Manchester United in the first half at least. We'll see what they do in the second half now. I think there's a goal to tell you about. 
from Alan McAnally at the Emirates. It's a second goal for Everton. 47 minutes played. 2-0. Pogba! And full extension, the goalkeeper makes the save. Corner for Manchester United. That's safely away. And here's the cross, and here's the header. Well, they just can't get the ball away, it's another corner. No apologies needed to show it again. Mandanda stop. Well, his reactions were just second to none. And here's the shot. Well, that's way, way over the bar. Next up for EA Sports, the Euro League fixture for Manchester United, and they'll be facing Saint Etienne away from home. Yeah, really looking forward to it. There's two good sides coming head to head, should have some fireworks. Substitution for Crystal Palace coming off the pitch. Number 26, Matthew Saka. To be replaced by. My apologies to Alan McAnally and to you for interrupting him. But Everton got that goal. The score is now 2 0. Ikadi! Oh, what a fine goal! They lead by two now. They'll feel a little bit more comfortable in their good value for this advantage at the moment. That has been coming, and they've played well enough, making so many chances they've taken this one. Well, it's uh, a dream day for those forwards, because no shortage of chances created. Top day for them. Just widen the margin here to 2-0. Shots on here. Good work by the goalkeeper. Could have got through there, but the defender was absolutely on top of his game. There's some potential in this move. Well, they look promising there in that wide area, but the defender's done well. It is an advantage for Crystal Palace, and they're going to try and take advantage of the referee's decision. Remy made the challenge well. There's good progress with this attack. And he's threaded the pass through neatly. Neymar! Goalkeeper hangs on. It's Isco. Manchester United on the move here. And here comes the counter-attack. worthy of celebration when you get to it is special and he is feeling that special delight at the moment well, let's take another look at the goal well they've widened the margin Now 3-0 they lead. It's a forward who's coming off. He's got a goal to his name, so he'll be happy. And might have had one or two others as well. Well, he might have, but that's his job. He's, he's got his goal, and I thought his overall game was pretty solid today. Goal for Manchester United. Number 10, Dan. Stocker. He's coming forward with some danger. Good defending. Tony Cross. It's 
So we'll restart with a throw in. James MacArthur. Just a quick check on the clock, and there are 20 minutes to go. Could have stopped it, the referee Crystal Palace allowed to play on because of the advantage rule. He went in well. Luke Shaw. And it's going to be his throw here. He's gone back, the referee, to book the offender. He let the play go on. It was good work by the official, but he's quite entitled to book the player now. Well, he's always going to get a yellow for that, wasn't he? It was a silly challenge, and uh, yes, you play advantage, but he's got to be punished for it. Shots on! That was a chance to extend their lead even further. wasn't a good tackle but they've still got the ball and the referee lets the game go on Crystal Palace have a substitute getting ready spotted well by the defender cut it out trying to stretch the opposition using the wider areas here and we've seen from Manchester United some high-class football they just need to put the game to bed now he's better usually at crossing that it was a defender who got there first quite easily, actually. Good forward play from them. Through pass. Makes a challenge here. And on the clock, eight more minutes. It's with Marco Asensio. Manchester United putting this attack together well. Well, they passed their way up into a good position here and then just lost the concentration, lost the ball as well. And they've got to work hard to try and get it back. And here's the cross. Forward now, Ibrahimovic. Ah, that's one he'd like to see again. A back heel, brilliant. Good strong tackle. James MacArthur. Now Anthony Martial. Well, the end of a superb season in the Premier League. They are the champions, Alan. You know what it's like to experience these moments, put it into words for us. It is a wonderful feeling, indescribable, and they've always retained a fantastic team spirit, and that's seen them through some of those difficult months. Well, they will be bonded together forever. As sharers of this superb triumph in the Premier League. So many months, Alan, of hard work have brought them to this podium and the proximity of the great trophy itself. Yeah, they've had to ride the look at times, haven't they? But they've stuck together as well. Really organised outfit led by a top-class manager. Fully deserved winners. to have the team photo and they're 
getting ready for it now. Yeah, one of those lovely scenes that you'll hang on the wall back at home.